Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be doing some more real-time scrapbooking with you. I have here the Paige Evans Bloom Street collection and this, move that out of the way, cut file, also Paige Evans, a freebie from her Facebook group. Um, yes, cut file that says let's stay home. Got my pictures here, which I will talk about. And piece of basil marshmallow cardstock because I think once this cut file is backed it'll be very, very colourful and I don't want to put it on a colourful background so yes first thing i'm going to do is do the cut file which like last time i won't do all of it on camera because obviously it does take a while but i do just want to choose what papers i'm going to use for this oh i need the the six by eight will probably be the handiest thing to use here but i just see if there's any sort of patterned papers that I'm probably not going to use like for anything else as it were come here here we go um what's that one no I'll use that I'll use that I'll use that and I'll okay never mind um but I can look in the paper pad just as I said if I can use a bigger paper I feel like I might might as well because then it gets used really um don't really know what kind of aesthetic or anything i'm going for this kind of like maybe rainbow colorful because as you can see i'm doing a let's stay home page which is obviously to do with the current situation in life and in the world and there's a lot of stuff like putting rainbows in windows and stuff so I feel like a rainbow thing would be good. So I'm feeling like this would be good to pack, to pack the cut file, to back the cut file with. But I don't just want to do, oh, I don't know, I might be able to get away with just backing it with one piece. Do you know what I mean? Because like it's different. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That may be an option. Maybe this one. See, that doesn't change colour as much as the other one does. I feel like I can just back it straight onto there and then use a craft knife to cut around the other bits. It's not what I usually do with cut files, but fun to do something different. So let's go with that. I don't know if I've ever done this before, so I'm totally making this up as I go along. I feel like just stick it on and then, all right, motorbike. Um, yeah, just stick it on and then use a craft knife to cut around, maybe? What do we think? Urgh. Okay, let's go for it. So I'm just going to get my glue here. These are single sided. Yeah, they are. And how, how is this? This glue bottle hasn't been behaving that well of late, like not like giving out too much glue one minute and then not any the next. It might be by the time I get to the end of this cut file that the big start of the glue, like this area, is completely dry, but we'll uh, we'll see. Oh, actually, if I use the slow drying stuff, that would probably be better. A uh, duh, Grace, honestly. And I am not smart sometimes, although this isn't really coming out either. <sighs> so, anyways, I ask this every time I've been doing one of these recently, but how is everybody just checking up checking in let me know how you're all doing i think there's more places in the world now that are on lockdown and stuff it's a strange 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 time to be living in i have to say i don't struggle too much with lockdown because it's not that different from my normal life because i work from home kind of anyway the only thing is just little things like not being able to go to the shops to get something you fancy for dinner or, I don't know, going to go get a Big Mac or a McFlurry. Oh, I miss McDonald's. Um, but as I said, these are only little things and they're obviously not important whatsoever in the grand scheme of things. You know, sometimes it's it's nice to focus on those little things rather than thinking about the really big scary things because I think if you think about the really big scary things all the time then that is absolutely no good for your mental health so you can let me know what little things you are missing is it a McFlurry 
is it i'll tell you what go in for coffee uh, just you know just like randomly saying hey do you want to go for coffee and then yeah doing it can't do that like i say please don't think i'm like belittling the situation or anything like that i'm just trying not to be constantly worried and negative and that sort of thing it's surprisingly hard to do this little these little glue bits and talk at the same time do, 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 do. I'm sorry if you can see my roots at the moment as if I'm leaning in to the shot I keep I've got hair dye to do my roots but I just feel like there's absolutely no point in doing them at the moment is there really I <laughs> Ain't no one gonna see him. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. You guys is probably seeing them right now. But I mean, like, in general, not really a whole lot of point in dyeing my roots when the whole country is on lockdown. My hand is starting to cramp a little bit, squeezing this bottle, but we're almost there. I might just have to... Oh, I'm touching the photos. Not good. Oh, that's really interesting, isn't it? Hearing me just sing away. To myself I'm just I'm getting impatient with this now so I'm just like gotta get it done gotta get it done almost there and just redo these bits and then just place this I kind of want to get it in the right place so it looks pretty yeah I feel like yeah it looks cute it, I don't have to back every single piece separately which is quite a relief because as you know from if you saw my previous real time video, that's quite hard work. So I might have to leave. Why is there so many loud things going past at the moment? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, back and cut files can be a total pain. Right, I might leave that to dry for a minute. Just put some heavy things on it to encourage it to do so. Let's get the branding strip off of this. I will apologise by the way, um, I haven't had many videos in the past week to 10 days. Um, I just haven't been feeling that great to be honest. Not anything, you know, you know what, nothing like that. Just my fibro just playing up a little bit. Not even that bad, just being like really, really fatigued and not being able to just do anything. The amount of times I've like come and just sat at my desk and then gone, Nope, I need to go back to bed. So nothing, as I said, nothing serious, just a bit plur. So I do want some things coming out from behind the cut file, like a little bit of mixed media or stenciling or something. I'm just trying to think what kind of stenciling, just swap those over, would, would be best. I'm not entirely sure. Let's get the stencil book. And there's cat fur. Cat is shedding at the moment. There is fur just everywhere in this house. You should see the state of the carpet in my bedroom. It's just, uh, oh my goodness, he is shedding so, so very much. Right, I don't know what kind of stenciling I want to do because obviously this is quite a floral, springy collection, but at the same time, oh, I've got an empty one there. Um, yeah, at the same time, it seems a bit, I don't know, obvious to do florally stenciling I was wondering about maybe doing like some brickwork or something because there's two pictures here which have whoop, brick in them um again I'll talk about the pictures properly in a minute I've got this brick stencil but it's more not really brick it's more of a stone wall effect like it's a little too messy for the kind of aesthetic I'm going for this particular layout but I don't think I have any other brick stencils I'm fairly sure I don't know hmm. what to do what to do okay we've got crosses circles oh this one could work it's not really bricks but it kind of yeah I'm gonna use this I don't know why I just am I don't know what I'm stenciling with either actually scratch that I'm gonna wait and do the stenciling once I know how big this is gonna be on here because otherwise I'm just gonna do a load of pointless stenciling and it'll look wrong and stuff just put my photos there um, I don't even know if they're in shop nope they're not I'll put them here just so I can talk about them while I cut this out um, I have already documented these if you saw my most recent junk 
journaling video. Um, they are pictures of the first time my eldest sister came round to drop some shopping off to us and we were waving at her from the window. So there's uh, the picture I took of them down there and then the pictures they took of us at the window. You can't see these ones very well because obviously like they're zoomed in on a camera phone. Um, but you can kind of just about see I'm doing a funny kissy face in this one. And anyways, I just thought, and yes, I have already documented them once before. But you know what? I'm not a scrapbooking snob and I don't approve of all these attitudes that are like, well, you can't document the same picture more than once. I saw someone moaning about this, about like scrapbook. Well, they use the word influencers, but I think they meant YouTubers. Just saying, you know, you know, they'll scrapbook the same picture more than once because they're more interested in their view counts than actual memory keeping. It's like, well, no, if you've got a picture that means a lot or whatever, or just simply you really like it, why not scrapbook it or document it more than once? Literally do not see, literally, actually do not see the problem with that at all, but... Maybe it's just because I get really funny about people being snobs about crafting and scrapbooking and stuff. There are no rules. Do whatever the hell you want, you know? Maybe it's just because I am a YouTuber. I get a bit funny about people constantly criticising YouTubers. Hello, we have a cat in the room. Where are you? Hi! He's currently sitting next to me and purring. There he is. Hi! Oh, don't get your dirty paws on my white paper. Thank you very much. Hi! People have been asking where you are because you haven't been in the video for a while. I'm, get, I'm gonna get this craft knife away from you because that would be bad. And oh, I really hope your paws aren't dirty while you sit on my, God, I can't get any nails. Just, oh, thank you. Are we safe? A little bit furry, but generally okay. Look up, what's up here? Look up, up, up. There we go. Well, there you go then, people who said, I haven't seen Conan in a video for a while. Here he is. Just can you see how much he's just molting at the moment? I don't know if you can tell that there is just fur flying everywhere. I'm getting rid of your winter coat, aren't you, babe? Yeah. Oh, good scratches. Oh, good scratches. Purr, purr, purr. I don't know if you can hear the purring on camera. Oh, my goodness. You see the state of my hands after stroking him. Just look. Fluffy cats shedding their winter fur is, oh, it's up my nose as well. It's just everywhere, oh my goodness. Oh, I've just seen the time. He will want his lunch, that's why. Oh, there's fur on the camera. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go feed this cat. Okay, one cat fed, one lump of fur on my project of course just to get in as well just in case if there's any sort of you know as they call them pearl clutchers out there who like to give unsolicited advice about pets on the internet yes i do brush him you know he's shedding a lot because he's a very very fluffy cat and he gets a very thick coat in winter including a big glorious mane which i always miss in the summer so he's not shedding through lack of brushing or anything it's just the time of year it happens i just people who give unsolicited advice about pets on the internet like one of my pet hates if you will excuse the pun Ugh. i have twice cut into my cut file but we can um hide that at the end I don't think it's that noticeable I was just reflecting by the way on what I was saying before about like missing little things or any or anything I really hope I don't sound crass or anything like that I just wanted to kind of you know a little fun exercise about things that we missed that we didn't appreciate before or whatever and I'm not talking about things like seeing your family you know I want to hug my sister and stuff I don't mean things like that because I think things like that go without saying you know I just you know I just didn't want to sound as I said crass or thoughtless or anything like that Conan's back in the room he may jump up again even though I did just feed you but he hasn't had any treats for a good 
two whole hours so obviously you know he's very much neglected and so on and so forth where are you oh no no don't jump up there oh honestly cats okay i actually don't know where he's gone i'm sure he's still in the room but i don't know where Conan. okay he silently left the room somehow it's when cats have access to like dimensional portals or something the amount of times i think he's right there and then poof he just suddenly disappears i will say this is so much easier than normal cut file backing i do kind of get why people do it this way a lot but obviously i don't think i'm going to change to doing it this way all the time because i don't think it would always work because sometimes you want different patterns and stuff behind things but still I think it works for this one. Having a good craft knife probably helps as well. This is the Trim Craft um, Precision Craft Knife. Craft Knife? Craft Knife. I think you're supposed to do something like with this bit, like put a finger in there or something, but that doesn't really work for me. I never quite figured out how that's supposed to work, but using it like this works just fine for me. Okay, and there's a little bit of the S is actually a little bit tricky it's actually quite hard work on your wrists as well which is not good for someone who has quite dodgy uh, uh, wrists but no well oh well that's not very good is it let me clean that up a little bit there we go it's not looking great at the moment but i think once i get these inner bits cut out it will look better i'm really hoping as well I've got another Paige Evans cut file, one of her free ones. I both buy her cut files and then also download the free ones from her Facebook group. I'll link it, by the way, in case anybody is interested. Um, yeah, I got another one that says quarantine. And I was torn between whether to use this or this. But I have a bunch of pictures which are I stole from the BBC News website a couple of weeks ago, which are pictures of... UK landmarks like completely deserted so there's I think it's Trafalgar Square, Tower Bridge, Buckingham Palace and then Barry Island of course um just you know completely bare and empty and I thought that would be quite good for the quarantine file I mean they could have gone either way but this one has three photos so I thought and three words so I just yeah I thought Three photos, three words would work better. And I think I'm going to use a different collection for the quarantine one as well, just to mix it up a little bit. I am sorry, by the way, if you um, have been trying to avoid certain subjects um, on YouTube and stuff, and this is kind of reminding you of it. But honestly, I want to get it documented as much as possible and do it like as close to the time as possible i said in a comment to someone the other day i was like if i wait and do it later like months down the line then it just won't get done i know what i'm like and i want to make sure it is done because in years to come these will be like particularly poignant memories to look at so yes if again if you're trying to avoid the subject in general then my apologies but as i said I want to get these down and done. I'm really bad when it comes to documenting things like as soon as possible. It's partially because I don't scrapbook chronologically. Most of my scrapbooks are more thematic rather than chronological, which is a decision I regret, but it's too late to do anything about it now. But um, yes, as I said, I had like three times. I want to get this stuff down and done right now we've got to do the little inner bits which i think are going to be the hardest bit Ugh. my fingers and wrist are really starting to complain as well probably because i'm not holding this craft knife how you're supposed to but oh well i have not done that very well i'm gonna have to do it again i think because i'm trying to avoid cutting into the cut file i'm just making more of a mess <laughs> of it oh dear get that out yeah no i haven't done that well at all mm. i'll tell you what i'm gonna get do all the main bits and then try and neaten it up afterwards oh someone's coming to visit 
and they're on their way. I can hear the thuds up the stairs. Yes? What's that? 101 Dalmatians. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks so much. That, if you didn't realise or do not know, is my little brother. Sam has Down syndrome and autism and a bunch of other things, um, which is why he might sound a bit different or anything or something like that. He has just brought me, well, he brought me earlier a big IKEA bag, you know, one of those enormous blue bags, full of his DVDs and videos. Like he's been going through them all day, every day. And he keeps bringing me ones that he doesn't want anymore, thinking I want them. Bless him. And he just came and gave me a VHS of all things. Because, you know, I have the equipment to play a VHS tape on um, of 101 Dalmatians. So that is sitting in a bag at my feet. And I will probably hide them in the attic or something. Because the thing is, he will get rid of things and then want them a few anywhere between two days to two months to two years I don't know down the line if it's DVDs it's not a problem because most of them like if it's two years later can be repurchased on Amazon for a cheap price but VHS tapes not so much quite hard to find these days so just kind of keep hold of them just in case got to do this really teeny teeny tiny little triangle Ugh. I don't even know if that's worked. Maybe I should have just poked it through like that. That might have been a better way to do it. Oh dear, okay. Oh, okay. Just keep swimming, just keep cutting, even if your wrist is hurting. It's quite very hard work. Like I'm feeling a bit puffed out with this. I bet my hand will be sore tomorrow as well. I know that sound probably sounds absolutely ridiculous to some people but I have hypermobility and oh my goodness fibromyalgia and sometimes the smallest things can hurt an awful lot the next day the amount of times I wake up and feel like I've done a 10k run or climbed a mountain the day before when I have definitely not done those things yeah that happens a lot so yeah, I need to stop saying so yeah. It's like someone, I saw someone put it as the millennial um. So instead of saying um, we say so yeah. So yeah, but, but I did it again. Goodness sake. It is the millennial um. I like that phrase. Although I'm pretty sure I use the word um a lot as well. Oh dear, I need to like one of those squeezy things. You know the ones that you like wrist exerciser thingies that just looks like I'm doing something wrong now I'll stop doing that oh this is going on forever okay I will probably I'm gonna finish this off camera because I'm running about running out of things to ramble about and I will uh, 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 be back with you if you want to go get something to drink and then you can play a drinking game by taking a drink every time I say the phrase, so yeah, then um, feel free. And I'm back. So some genius, I'll call her Grace, um, decided once she'd done the backing to do stitching around all of the letters, um, which firstly, I'm not very good stitching around curves. So the S's are a total mess. Um, and then also my sewing machine, where are my scissors? My sewing machine decided to Play up so the L is completely mangled so just erg basically it wasn't like sewing at all I was like oh something's up with the bobbin so I opened up the little compartment where the bobbin lives and then everything fell out of that compartment not just the bobbin but everything and I was like ah mom so I got my mom to fix it for me because I just I don't I'm not good at dealing with sewing machines when they're playing up. I'm really not. I don't have any patience for it whatsoever. 
I've just about got to the point where I can thread a bobbin, you know. <laughs> and, but anything beyond that is just like, no, I can't do it. The thing will end up being thrown out the window. As I said, just no patience whatsoever. I think certain places like don't look too bad, but the S's are a mess. Hence why there's all these little snippy bits I'm trying to get rid of. I mean, oh, I just I kept going off the letter as I was sewing around them and just urgh, curves. Curves are hard to do. Anything but a straight line, I'm just like, oh why? Anyways, so as I said, there's parts of this that are a total mess. So I'm going to try and, and cover them up a bit or something. Let's see what we can do. I'm just trying to make it a little bit less thready in certain areas. Because I kind of wanted it a little bit neater than this, really. But it's not too bad considering how it started with the L getting totally mangled after the sewing machine fell to pieces um it could have been much much worse but whew, I say I won't do it again but I know I will I'll, I'll forget how much of a difficult best part of an hour I've just spent trying to do this and be like oh no it looks nice let's do it again Woo! Oh, anyway Right, let's get rid of all these little bits and pieces. I want these bits too. Just do them in separate bins because, you know, still got to recycle and everything. Right. I think I have decided. That doesn't look very white, does it? Like basil marshmallow. It's kind of yellowish. Um, anyways, I've decided not to do any stenciling. I just feel it's not right for this. I kind of want a clean effect also and also because you can see like between the gaps of the letters it would look weird to have a bit of stenciling here and then it not be there but I think if it was underneath as well it would look weird so if it was a solid cut file then yeah put stenciling around it but I'm just not feeling it with this um I'm also trying to decide do I want it at a bit of a do I just want to go straight like this or I'm not really one for jaunty angles in general but I don't know we might make an exception for this layout I'm just gonna cut my photos up so I can figure out with where I want to place them and stuff kind of want it put that over the S to cover up the, the nightmare a little bit <laughs> what do we think of that slight angle or straight I think I prefer straight like I said before I'm not really one for funny angles but I'm not 100% sure on this photo layout I quite like that actually having a strip up the top I kind of assumed I'd do photos around the cut file but actually I quite like this idea so it's one just a really big title. Yeah, I feel like I like that. Let's just try it for the other. No, I like them up the top. Yeah, actually, I think. I mean, that's interesting, but it's just not, not feeling it. Not really. I prefer just having the title by itself cover up some of the dodgy needlework obviously and have it like that hmm now it's whether to have these separate or to have like a strip up here if you know what I mean just like a base for the photos like this or to do them individually I feel like a strip would be nice but not this colour because obviously we've already used that it would look a bit weird if we used the same one let's find another one I think another rainbowy one would be good maybe the words I'm not sure um, what have I missed that's too dark that's the same thing that's not rainbowy enough maybe this one I knocked the camera I will 
edit that out because otherwise it will make you all go really, really dizzy. I'm not sure what to use for this. Um, maybe the hearts would be a good one. Well, now we're just going through the same ones again. Or the rainbow, maybe. I feel like what it, whichever one I use, I want to like back it with something and go hearts backed with pink and see how that works. Right, what kind of size? Ugh, I've got black stuff on my page. Flip it over, that's better. Um, yeah, what kind of size do we want? Say two and a half inches, which gives us enough space to back the photos. No, three inches. Yeah, definitely three inches at least. Ugh, right, so three inches of this one. Yeah, three inches. I don't know what I'm talking about. What am I talking about? Um, I'm not going to get all the rainbow on doing it across. Hmm. Oh, well, now I'm all in a kerfuffle because it's an ombre that way rather than that way. Kind of need to get an area that covers the best amount of possible rainbowiness, I think. Cut here. Oh, this is scary just cutting willy nilly like this. Okay, I'm going to go 2.75. No, 2 and 7 eighths like that. And then this one. Three and a quarter. See how that looks. <laughs> Let's see if that looks okay. Oh, yeah, I quite like that. That's enough space. Let's stay home. It's like a ribbon at the top. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. I'll probably back these as well, actually. I quite like the fact that it's only top and bottom showing off the pink, right? Not cutting this smaller strip this way as well, so it's a full border, I think. Just to be a bit different, I think. Oh, the pink cat fur everywhere. Right, I'm going to stick all this down. Um, double sided tape is here. And I run out. Of course, but no worries, I have, there's plenty more where that came from. I'll just root around in here for a moment. There we go. Hopefully this roll will be less troublesome than the previous one. If I can get the blue bitty off. There we go. Sorry, I keep going quiet for periods of time. I'm not, I don't know why I'm doing a real time today, to be honest. I'm not in that much of a chatty mood. I feel quite tired, to be honest. Not that I have any reason to be tired. Well, I have a chronic illness, so people will tell me off for saying that. I imagine not having any reason to be tired. But you know what it's like. You're just like, what have I actually done to be tired? What, you know, for what reason? Like, yesterday, I was just like, I did a couple of things. I didn't do anything craft or business related, but I did a couple of things. And then I just looked at the clock and it was 6 p.m. Like, where? What? Where is this day gone? What have I done with my entire day? It was a bit of a weird one, to be honest. I want to try and get this. It's actually quite hard because I want to get it even ish at the top and bottom. I think it's roughly a chevron at the top and a chevron at the bottom. Slightly overlapped there, but we can fix that. A little bit of sneaky trimming. There we go. I think this whole thing is going one of two ways for people. For some people, it's like going surprisingly quickly. Like for me yesterday, where I just looked at the clock and it was suddenly the evening. But other people are like, every day is so slow. This is going on forever. Let me know how it's going for you. I, or are you getting a mix of the two? I feel like I'm getting a mix of the two, actually, to be honest. <laughs> 
you can hear those noises, that's my brother messing around. He kind of, when he's excited, he kind of squawks like a peacock. That doesn't sound very flattering, but honestly, that's what it sounds like. Right, I'm going to use my T-square to try and get this straight. Where did I want it? Kind of... <laughs> can you hear him? I don't know if you can hear him. It's so funny when he makes that those noises, although at, late at night or first thing in the morning it can be less than funny. You're just like, oh my, please be quiet. Oh dear. Right. That looks nice and straight, doesn't it? Yay me. Couldn't live without my T-square. Right. I'll put those on there. I don't know whether to have this flat cat hair flat or raise it up. A smidge to make it interesting I don't know I'm gonna trim around the edges of these photos because the white borders are a little bit wonky I think I'm gonna leave a slight white border on each I think I want to back them as well though just for an added bit of extra something and my mum's just sent me a message that was clearly meant for somebody else I <laughs> just let her know. I don't think that was for me. There we go. We'll find out. She may have sent it to me to like tell me what she has said to that other person. Not in a gossipy way, in a like uh, to just let you know I've let this person know about this kind of thing. And now she's typing. We'll find out. Dot 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 dot. She's still typing. Wrong message. <laughs> she's just she's just replying saying, oh poo, I have to do it all again. Oh dear. I've tried to teach her about copy and paste. I really have. I've told her how to do it. I give you about 30 seconds before. Can you come and do it for me, please? Bless her. Not that I'm making fun of her. I mean. 45 minutes ago, I was going, Mom, come and help me with the sewing machine. You know, so, you know, it's a mutual relationship of sorting each out, out each other's stuff. I do technology for her. She does sewing machine stuff for me. Right, I think we should back these guys. I'm wondering if I could back them with this so then it's, like, balanced out a little bit. What do we reckon? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go help me Mum. Okay, long message now sent to the right person. Right, I was, yeah, as I said, I was thinking about having these, but I don't think they're gonna stand out enough. But I don't know, oh, maybe I can go all out and use the shiny, shiny stuff. Hmm, that's a possibility. Um, I don't want the green, really. <laughs> no, I think this is the right thing to do because then it's going to really, really stand out. The question is whether or not I do two layers. No, I think just one. Just the one. Oh, I need to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, it's... It's allergies, nothing to worry about. This time of year, I just cough and I sneeze and I wheeze and my eyes are watery and all of the things. I am very much, I like early, early spring, like March, when it's still a bit cold. Um, once everything starts to really blossom and I start to get wheezy, I start to just not like it so much. I'm very much yeah i like winter and the other thing about spring and summer is there's lots of buzzy stingy things and i hate them mozzies i'm one of those people that mosquitoes just think i'm absolutely delicious i just constantly summer i'm covered in bites i really am they just as i said they think i'm delicious and those citronella whatnots are just rubbish they don't do a thing and then, then, of course, there's wasps. I've had two wasps and a bee incident in the past week alone. Started the other day when I went into the bathroom. Quite wasn't late, but it was evening. And there was a queen wasp in there. It was enormous. At first I thought it might be a hornet, but then I was like, no, nah, it's a queen wasp. It's the wrong colour for a hornet. So 
I yelled and screamed and it was sorted out um, with a can of Raid, I'm afraid. I'm sorry if that upsets anyone, but I'm not having a queen wasp in my bathroom where it can sting either my little brother or my cat. Um, and then, so that was the first thing. And then the other day I was sat outside and this enormous bumblebee, and I mean enormous bumblebee, starts flying near me. Now I'm not bothered about bees. I like bees. They're good. They do pollen stuff. We should save the bees. But at the same time, I would quite like them to keep their distance. And this bee, I d think I had sprayed some quite flowery you know, not perfume, but just like body spray on. And it must have been that because I wasn't wearing anything bright. I think I was wearing black, as I usually do. But oh my goodness, this bee. Like it came a bit close and then a little bit closer. And then it like full on was right up in my face. It landed in my hair. It just wouldn't go away. And I'm like not moving, but also squealing like... <laughs> Like I say, I like bees, but not buzzing right in my face. And it just, it would not go away. I was terrified. So then there was that. And then day before yesterday, I think, again, I was outside and I was wearing the same hoodie I'm wearing today. I'm not going to lie to you. And this hoodie, as you see, it's like a dark greyish colour. It's one of the ones stolen from a previous male friend, if you know what I mean. Um... Anyway, but it's got a hood where the inside of the hood is bright yellow, like in a sporty way. And a wasp was obviously very, very attracted to that bright yellow because it came and landed on it. So I had a wasp in my hood and I wanted to cry. So, yes, three incidents with buzzy, stingy things this week. Haven't yet got bitten by a mosquito, but I've probably jinxed it now and will do so very soon. So, yes. Winter back again, please, because <laughs> no more buzzy, stingy, bitey things. And then, I mean, I don't even like autumn that much because autumn equals spiders. All of the spiders in autumn, I just, ugh, not good with bugs. Not even a little bit. Conan, the cat, when he was younger, used to like chase bugs, especially spiders for me. But as he's got older, he doesn't really care that much he's still very active and runs around and plays and stuff but he doesn't care as much about chasing bugs which is a big big shame for me all right I'll just stick this one down i'm trying to do it so there's a little bit of the the hollow foil well actually i think it's iridescent rather than hollow i'm not sure but yeah just sticking them down so a little bit of it is showing which is what makes them stand out a little bit i think putting them on foam will be a good idea as well like having them pop up a little bit i just yeah i think that will work a bit better as well <coughs> oh excuse me scissors not scissors that sounded like i was telling my scissors off for coughing um <laughs> it's been a long lockdown guys why am I cutting four pieces? I only need three. Oh my goodness, what's going on in the world? I'm just gonna use tacky glue because I can't be bothered to use anything else. Well, you know what I was saying earlier about cats having like portals and suddenly disappearing on you? Well, just before I started filming, um, when I showed you this with the stitching, um, Conan was fast asleep on my bed where the sun was just hitting on the bed. He was fast asleep in that sort of half curled up position, but also their paws are kind of stretched out and sticking out. He was like that. And then however many minutes later, when I go and help my mum with that message thing, he is in there, in the exact same position he was when he was on my bed. And on the door was shut, so I don't even know how he got in there. It's like, how, when? I don't understand how this has happened. <laughs> Again, cats have portals where they can reach other dimensions and just travel around the house just in the blink of an eye. Like, plop, now I'm in a different room. Plop, now I'm in a different room. I don't know if that's all cats or if that's just my cat, but anyway, again, as you can tell, lockdown is taking its toll 
on my um, brain function. Something's sticking out there. Look at the absolute state of that, honestly. Right. Yeah, I think with if I put these guys up on foam and then keep this one flat, that's the best way of doing it. I just kind of want to measure, well not measure, but I want this in the dead center. So if I mark six inches, pen, 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 six inches. Where are these black bits coming from? Just so I know to put this right in the middle. Oh, I'm not being very entertaining, am I? I'm really sorry. I did, like, when I decided I was going to do a real time today, I um, was thinking last night about, like, all these topics that I could talk about and stuff just to keep going while I do stuff that, you know, I don't need to explain what I'm doing or whatever. And I should, clearly should have written them down or something because I am drawing a total blank at the moment. Right, I know the pictures aren't all the same size, so it does kind of ruin that whole thing a little bit, but you get an idea. We've got roughly the same gap at the end, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Right, I think we can stick this down, although I should probably play around with embellishments before I stick that down in case there's anything I want to tuck underneath or whatever um i've just seen that there's been there's new embellishments released with this collection but they're exclusive to scrapbook.com which is just like oh when you're a brit or anywhere else in the world i assume and things are released exclusively to american stores i don't know about you guys but i get really annoyed about it i realize with scrapbook.com you can you can order from them to the UK or other places in the world, I presume. But like, you've got to pay a huge amount for shipping and then probably customs when it gets to your country. And it's just like, it's not the same. So whenever I see like, for any crafty brand or paper craft brand, planner brand, whatever, when it's exclusive to Michael's, exclusive to Joanne's, I just want to imagine a rude gesture there. It just, ugh, it just annoys me. It's like, you do realise there's people outside of the USA? Just, I just, you know, putting it out there, shock horror, but there, there are people outside of the USA. Just, no offence to any Americans watching. I just, as I said, it annoys me when stuff is exclusive to there and you can't get hold of it. Right. What are we going to use i think just sticking with florals is probably the safest bet um i don't really have any titly things i want to use i don't think no i'm just gonna add glue to the center of all of this stick it down and then there's just enough space to tuck stuff underneath if I want to. I have no idea if I'm making any sense whatsoever. I make sense in my own brain, but very unlikely to other people's brains. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Is that everywhere coloured? Got it there. Oh, got an itchy nose. <laughs> you know what? I don't think I've taken my antihistamine today. That would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Turn. Let's stay home. Is that all straight? Yeah, that's nice and straight. Okay, so yeah, let's just throw some embellishments at this. Let's just see if there's any of these little bits and pieces I want to use. I feel like I might add journaling up here, like really, really tiny journaling up here. I think that could look quite cute. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And then just add stickers here and there enjoy the little things that's actually quite appropriate for this Let's see if i can get that in somewhere i kind of want to put it on a picture but it's slightly too big to put on any of the pictures unless i put it here if i put one there and something here fresh start no no no, no. you are my sunshine happy together 
sweet something. That'll do. I just need something to balance out this one up here, you know? Need to also just, they're not sticking down very well just yet. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> Doesn't that look attractive? Right. Let's pull out some of these flower embellishments and see what we'll do with these actually i'm going to pull them all out because i'm going to put them in some slightly different packaging to make life a smidge bit easier so i just put them in a little grip lock bag rather than have to deal with this packaging every time which would be a little bit better i think we'll get rid of that all right oh that's cute i kind of want to put that over the top of the l to cover up my little whoopsie mistakes We'll just use some simple on their own flowers. Oh, I just love this daffodil so much. I don't think it's right to use on this particular layout, but my goodness, is it cute. Put that there. Might have to prop that up on some foam. Oh, actually, put that there, actually. And then something... I can put that in that O. Oh, that looks cute, doesn't it? As the centre of the O. I like that, but that means I kind of have to need one for the A as well, but it would have to be much, much, much smaller. How does that work? Quite like that. Is there a I think a slightly different colour would be nicer, though. The green is a bit strong. Let's say... I think that works. Um, we need another big one, don't we? Another big... One of the clusters. That's a daffodil one. I might save that for something else. Go slightly underneath. Have this on top of there, maybe. And come here. Poke these little bits out. Cute. Just have a couple of little bits sticking out here and there. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Have we got any more purples? Maybe. Um, that's quite cute, but I still want something there. Maybe one of the little sprigs or something. Oh, isn't that cute? I love that. Now I want something here. Just a simple little one. <gasps> oh, I'm so happy when things work out. It makes me so pleased and happy. <gasps> that's not right. Something up here, maybe? Oh, that's the same. I think we can move these out of the way now. Um, same with that. That doesn't work. How about that? I'm not sure about that. Did I put glue on that? It's just not sticking down. One of the things I'm not sure about is these things I've put in the centre of the... It works with the O, but it doesn't work for the A. I don't really have anything smaller, unless I use something that's in here, maybe. Mm. No. A little strawberry would work, but I'm not using that anywhere else. I don't think that would be right. Maybe this heart, if it wants to come off. There we go. Is there another one of those? No, I want one the same size. Okay, I quite like that. The only thing I think with this is I feel like I need to put something around it to make it stand out a little bit. It's not really showing up, if you know what I mean. I wish I had another heart the same size that would just answer all of my problems. I could punch one. Oh, I don't have a punch big enough. I've only got a one centimetre and a one inch. Oh, why is it so difficult? Unless, if that will come up, and we can put this in here, and a little one, in the A. Yeah, that'll do. 
that'll do nicely. Right, let's start sticking these guys down. I don't know why the glue isn't sticking down with some of these. It's kind of slightly annoying. Oh well. Oh, taking the lid off helps. So fess up. Who has made banana bread? Because I'm seeing it all over the internet. Everyone is making banana bread. I have not made banana bread because I both cannot and will not eat bananas. One, they taste disgusting. I cannot stand the taste of banana. Blech, gross. Two, they are closely, most people who have my severe intolerance to avocado have the same intolerance to banana. So I haven't actually tested the theory that I can't eat them. But as most people with the same food intolerance as me can't eat them, I'm going with that. And if it causes the same pain and suffering that eating avocado does, then I don't want to test the theory, quite frankly. And as I said, as I don't like them anyway, I don't really, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, there's a fun little story about bananas and why I hate them. Well, not really why I hate them. I can't explain why I don't like the taste of bananas. I just don't. I just ugh, do not like the taste at all. It's actually a lot of things I don't like the taste of. I think last time I was ranting about coconuts. People think I'm weird for the banana thing, and that's fine. Um, avocados I love, but I cannot eat because pain and suffering happens. I mean, serious. It's really, really bad. <laughs> really bad if I eat avocado. Um, I'm trying to think, what other things do I not like that... Other, oh, I hate chocolate orange. Terry's chocolate orange. Blah, disgusting. Any kind of orange chocolate. No, blah, no, thank you. Cannot. Blah, blah, blah. Yuck. So tell me about your weird th food things. What do you hate that everybody else likes and thinks you are weird for not liking? I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Banana. Chocolate orange. Not liking coconut, I feel like, is actually quite common. Oh, raisins. Cannot stand raisins. I call them devil pips because ugh, I get really upset if I go for like an afternoon tea and the scones have raisins in them. Dead flies, I also call them. Like, can you get these dead flies out of my scone, please? Oh, now people are going to yell at me for saying scone instead of scone. I can't help it. It's just the way it comes out of my mouth. I have no real preference for one or the other. Like, I don't get involved in the argument about scone versus scone. I don't care. It's just that's the way it happens to, as I said, come out of my mouth. But as I said, let me know about your weird food thing because it will make me feel better if other people have things that they really strongly dislike and everybody else likes. Is there anything else? There's things like I think a lot of people don't like, but I think they don't necessarily fess up to. Like Christmas cake and Christmas pudding. Who actually likes that? It's disgusting. But again, that might be the raisins thing. Raisins and sultanas, same thing in my book. All these little dirty things just appearing out of nowhere, really annoying me. There's a little scuff here, which I need to cover up somehow. I'm just wondering if we need any more bits and pieces around here. Or maybe around the, the sort of strip here. I'm not going to put it in a really big piece like this. I'm just wondering about halving this and having it like as if it's tucked in. Oh no, I said I'd do journaling up there, didn't I? Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, I quite like that actually. Because then you get more a slight sort of a triangle shape happening. You know what I mean? Just I feel like it fills the page a bit better. But yeah? No. No? Yes. I feel yes. I've also realised I haven't put any um, inks around the edges of all these die cut bits, but I think it works for this layout for the whole sort of clean cut style, which isn't my usual style. I am generally more of a messy mixed media person, but it's fun to be different sometimes. I want a little bit of that orange showing. There we go. There we go. I like that. That is good. I'm happy with that. Right. Um. Yeah, add a little bit of journaling at the top, I think. I'm going to use a thin pen. There it is, Muji gel pen. 
Well, it's actually going to be quite hard to do because I'm going to get my hand on the foamy bits. <gasps> Should have thought about that. Right, what am I going to write? Um, what was the date is the question. I only wrote this down the other day. Um, scrolly, 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 scrolly. No, not that. Where is it? It must be after that. Ah, there we go. 25th of March. Am I going to write it? No, I'm going to write it instead of stamp it. 25.03, nearly wrote 04 then. 2020. First. I messed up. The camera stopped filming. I didn't notice because I wasn't keeping an eye on the time. Ran out of memory. I said I wasn't keeping an eye on the time, so it stopped filming. All you missed is me finishing my little tiny bit of journaling up the top here. I added splatters with Fabrica Decorio Chalk Spray in Pink Shabby. Um, really like little delicate splatters. I really, really like them on this layout. And then Nouveau Vintage Drops in Chalk Stick, which are glossy at the moment, but they will dry uh, matte like this. Um, and yeah, that's about it really. I like the way the Nouveau drops and the splatters really, really finishing off. It was was looking a little bit too clean for my personal liking for my own layouts, just adding the splatters and Nouveau drops. Uh, and it enhances, oh, cat fur again. <laughs> it enhances all the flowers and stuff as well. So yeah, I'm now really, really chuffed with it. And that's it. Um, I'll put links in the description box as always where you can get this. I got mine from Hey Little Magpie. They are still open as far as I know. Um, I don't know how much of this collection they've got left. Louise at Thompson's Craft Supplies has some of this collection, but she is not open at the moment, but it will be available when she reopens, so worth keeping an eye out there. And yeah, so I'm sorry this video has been a bit all over the place with my narration or whatever you want to call it. I'm still not feeling exactly 100% um, brilliant or whatever, but hopefully I'll get back on it soon. Soon enough, I am not gonna lie, gonna go have a little bit of a lie down now, but I hope it was at least bearable. Um, I can't remember all the things I asked you questions about, um, things like, you know, how you're doing in lockdown, things you miss and weird food things. I can't remember all of those, but please chat to me down in the comments with all those random things if you feel like it. As I always say, I love talking to everybody. So yeah, okay, that's about it. About time for me to shut up and go. Thank you again so much for watching. I'm going.